and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I have the gorgeous Lynn who has a fantastic blog called Mrs Mummy Penny and she's with me today because we're going to do a bit of a fun video for you that's all about makeup and asking the question do you have to spend a lot of money to get really good makeup looks? So we've got some really fabulous products from Bobbi Brown, MAC and some benefit bits here that we're going to do for our kind of slightly more pricey makeup look and then we've got some slightly more inexpensive items so we've got some Rimmel, we've got some Poundland, we've got some Seventeen and also we've got Collection 2000. So we're going to do half of our faces, so half will be with expensive makeup and half will be with the inexpensive makeup. We're not going to know what side is what because we've got the gorgeous Emma doing our makeup and we've got to guess which side is which and see if we can tell the difference so that you guys will know if there is a difference between the expensive and the inexpensive makeup. So I hope you like the rest of the video. So first up we have the gorgeous Lynn without her makeup on and she still looks fab and then we did a daytime look on her. Can you tell which side is inexpensive and which side is expensive? I can't. Then here's me, unfortunately looking terrible without makeup, and then my look was the evening look, and again, I think it's really hard to tell. <laughs> Hi, welcome back, and we are both now beautiful made up ladies. I am the day look, and here is the evening yes, look. Evening. Um, so, what we need to try and work out then is which side is the inexpensive, which side is the expensive. Um, and um, what I'm going to do is try and get Claire to guess what side is expensive and inexpensive. There's ever so slightly more product visible on your face on this side which makes me think that that might be the cheaper side and that's also that makes that one my, my preferred because I think you can see the product so mm. for me that's my favourite side because I can see a little bit of product on the ba on your base on that one. So, right. but, gen is it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. but genuinely you look fab all over. Yeah, I think the eyes are the same. Look the They're same. identical. Absolutely identical. Mm. Okay, so for with me, mm. I'm quite impressed that I guessed actually, but um, mm. for with me, I do think there's, there was obviously more product because it's evening. Yeah. Um, I have guessed already which is mine. Yeah. Because you can tell when it's being applied, it's really weird. But what would you say? Yeah, and that's interesting because I couldn't tell when it was being applied to my face. Ah, okay. But, um, so with you, I would say um, this side of your face just looks more um, glowing, uh, mm -hmm. more alive. Um, the eye makeup, again, very similar. Um, but I actually prefer the lips on that side. Okay. Um, yeah. So because of the skin tone, I'm going to go for that side as the being the more expensive. And again, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Ooh! We're so, good at this! We should do this all the time. Come up with a conclusion. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's, but definitely, the skin is obviously really key. Yeah. Uh, my conclusions then. Um, I definitely think that um, you should invest more in your base products. Um, what's we, what we've used here, um, so we've got Bobbi Brown, BB Cream, um, and then we've got a really lovely Rimmel um, foundation here. Um, I think it's really obvious, especially from your face, Claire, that you go with the more expensive product for the base. Um, and then in terms of your eye makeup and your lips, I think it's fine to go Poundland. I completely agree. I think that if the base is right, it gives you more, I think you've got more flexibility. You can have mm. fun. You could go to Poundland and buy three eyeshadows. And well, you could probably buy 15 for the same price mm. of a Bobbi Brown kit. Mm. But actually it gives you more versatility so you can use it in a more styling way with your outfit. You can have a bit more fun, be a bit more playful. And with the lips, I think it's important to have more than one colour in your yeah. lip arsenal. So actually you can spend, like, you could have one for 16 quid or you could have 16 for one pound each. You know, that's the reality. These are £4.50. Oh, are they? Okay, we can't have as many. <laughs> <laughs> Three of these. But yeah. they, they work just as well and they look great, so. Yeah, but the lip gloss, which is on my lips, yeah. that was £1, so that's pretty good. I think that's really great. And it's, I'm quite impressed with that. They're both staying on in exactly the same way. They look really fab, so spending our money on our base and maybe kind of going for saving cheaper options, yeah, lips. saving on the eyes and the lips. So have you enjoyed your first YouTube video? Oh, it's been quite scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I can do this. You can definitely do this. Yeah. We want more videos from Lynn, yes. 
I, Thank I, you for helping me. No problem at all. Well, you know, I'm going to be subscribing to your channel. I want lots of money saving tips. We all do. Um, and I can, and I want lots of styling tips. Right, exactly. So <laughs> we can just reciprocate. We'll maybe do some more videos, mm. some styling videos, and just see how we can work together. But I think YouTube, just you watch out. So everyone, make sure you subscribe to Lynn's channel and to my channel. And the details are all below. See ya!